Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our second word problem that we need to solve using a method for the systems of linear equations. So, what do we have? We have the sum of two numbers divided by 2 is equal to negative 1, and 3 times the first number minus 4 times the second number is equal to 9 over 2. What are the two numbers? So, it's obvious we're dealing with two numbers, two variables, and so we can let one be equal to x, the other one equal to y. So let x equal the first number and y equal the second number. And now we need the two equations, which will come from what we're being given. The sum of two numbers divided by 2. So that would be x plus y divided by 2. And that is equal to negative 1. Our puppy brought a little squeaky toy. <laughs> three times the first number minus four times the second number. So three times the first number x minus four times the second number y is equal to nine over two. Okay, now we have those two equations and now we need to solve them simultaneously. So whatever method works, but first of all, we have fractions. We don't like fractions. We want to get rid of fractions. So let's do that first. Let's multiply the top equation, well, both sides of the equation by 2 to get rid of this fraction. And here we're going to multiply the left side and the right side by 2 as well to get rid of that fraction because fractions just make things a lot harder. Okay, the first equation then becomes x plus y is equal to negative 2. The second equation becomes 6x minus 8y is equal to 9. So now, having those equations in simplified format, hmm, how will we solve that? You know what we could do is we could use the method of substitution because if we move the x to the other side, we could then say y is equal to minus x minus 2. So that's the first equation, simply moving x to the right side. And the second equation remains at 6x plus, oh, not plus, but minus, minus 8y is equal to 9. And now all we have to do is substitute what the value for y into here, which is minus x minus 2, and then we solve that second equation. So let's write these down again. We're going to take our second equation at 6x minus 8y is equal to 9 and then we're going to substitute in for the y we're going to plug what y is equal to in terms of x into our second equation so 6x minus 8 times y and y is minus x minus 2 is equal to 9 and notice all we have now is an equation with just one unknown so 6x minus times minus becomes plus 8x minus 8 times a minus 2 is plus 16 is equal to 9. Add these two together we get 14x is equal to 9 minus 16 so what do we have? We have 14x is equal to looks like minus 7 divide both sides by 2 no not by 2 by 7 by 14 oh what am I thinking? What do we got? We divide by the numerical coefficient of the variable here, so we have x is equal to minus one half. So once we have the value for x, now we use this equation to find the value for y. So y is equal to minus x minus two. So now we're going to plug in a negative one half in here. So we have y is equal to minus times a minus one half plus two. So that would be y equals one half plus two. That would be 5 halves, so y equals 5 over 2, and that would be the other value. So notice, x equals negative 1 half, what's the first number? So let's plug that in here. So the first number equals to negative 1 half, and the second number equals a positive 5 over 2. So let's do a quick check to make sure we did this correctly. Okay, first of all, the sum of the two numbers divided by 2 equals negative 1. The sum of the two numbers, so minus 1 half plus 5 over 2 divided by 2 should equal question mark negative 1. Okay, so negative 1 half plus 5 over 2, that's 4 halves, that would be 2 divided by 2. So we get 
something is wrong because that gives me 4 over 2 divided by 2 equals negative 1 question mark that would be 2 over 2 equals negative 1 question mark 1 equals negative 1 question mark and the answer is no so here's a good example where we made a mistake somewhere because we don't get the values that will give us a true solution hmm so what do we do well one thing we could do is try to trace through what we did to see if we made any mistakes that's usually the hardest thing to do secondly would be just to raise everything and start over again from scratch because that's the best way to find a mistake but just so that we can at least try to find a mistake let's go ahead and at least trace back to see if we did things correctly so we have two numbers x and y so it says here the sum of the two numbers x plus y divided by 2 is equal to negative 1 and then 3 times the first number minus 4 times the second number equals 9 over 2 so at least we copied the two equations correctly the first thing we did was multiply both sides by 2 for both equations to get rid of the fractions so we get x plus y equals negative 2 and we get 6x minus 8y equals 9 that looks like it's okay next we moved the x to the other side so we get y equals negative x negative 2 and this stayed the same as 6x minus 8y equals 9 so then we wanted to substitute this y into here so we took 6x minus 8y equals 9 I copied that correctly and then I replaced the y by negative x negative 2 so that looks like it was done correctly the substitution was done correctly so now we have negative 8 times a negative x is a plus 8x negative 8 times a negative 2 is a plus 16 and so 6x plus 8x is 14x 16 goes to the other side becomes minus 16 and 9 minus 16 is minus 7 14x minus 7 divide both sides by 14 I get x equals negative 1 half that looks okay so now we take our equation we take which equation we took y equals negative x negative 2 and substituted negative 1 half in for x so that gives me y equals a positive 1 half plus 2 which is 5 halves so y equals 5 halves x equals negative 1 half appears to be correct so then I wanted to check so I wanted to go and check for one of my solutions I had two numbers and it said that when I add the two together and I have a minus 1 half plus 5 halves divided by 2 is that equal to negative 1 and that gives me a positive 4 halves divided by 2 which is 2 divided by 2 which is 1 equals negative 1 and it doesn't work so I'm really at a loss why this doesn't work let me go look at my work ah I found my error it's right there in front of me and I didn't see it so here's a good example why trying to trace through your work to try to find the error is a difficult thing to do but it's a simple one notice what I did here so up to here it turns out everything was correct but now going on from here notice what happened I made the substitution we have y equals negative x and x was negative one half minus two but for some reason I put a plus two so how did that happen there was a minus here there was a plus there but the brain is a strange thing I saw minus times a minus and somehow that triggered me to put a plus there instead of simply copying what was on the previous line it's so easy to make a mistake in algebra by letting your brain go the wrong direction while you're doing things and you may not even realize you're doing it but notice the line that you copy down from the previous line with whatever change you're making make sure that everything else is the same y and y is the same equal sign is the same the negative is the same x is a minus one half a minus a plus two two there's a mistake so once I make that change I'm sure that everything else will be fine so this is a really good thing to show because it seems so odd that those types of mistakes can be made it's amazing sometimes how you will not see your mistake so now we have this and notice a half minus two that will, instead of five halves is a minus three over two and that is the value ascribed 
to y, the second number. So the first number is minus 1 half, the second number is minus 3 over 2. Now, taking those solutions, let's go in here, and so make this a minus 3 over 2. And so that becomes minus 4 over 2. And that becomes a minus 2 over 2, which is a minus 1. And then it was correct, and there it is. So Lesson learned. When we copy one line to the next line, it is really important to concentrate on what we are doing, making sure that everything we copy is exactly the same. It's easy to see how the brain can go in and see a minus times a minus and somehow convert that into a plus over there when that was not at all what we should be doing. It simply should be a copying fact. I'm just as susceptible to those kind of mistakes as anyone else. You've got to be very careful. A good example, but at least now you see that by carefully tracing through it and by showing that when we copy each step to make sure we do that correctly, we try to prevent from making those mistakes. There it is. That's how it's done. Yeah, I don't think that can be helped. Well, maybe it can be. Okay. I'll say it can be helped, okay? Okay. I will try to stay close.